I'm rolling. Hi right, guys, I'm Hunter Sales. Once again, that one and only Tristan Salesworth, how about winning the lake? Uh, we're back with episode two of The Eagle Angle. Once again here on Cherokee Lake, and we're gonna dive right into it today. We're not gonna hesitate at all. We're gonna go into question number one. Have you ever eaten at Lisa's? Uh, only about every single day for breakfast. I mean, you can go there. I think I got two eggs, a biscuit and gravy, and toast, and it was like $2.99. I mean, of course you have, you know, the the waitresses are so sweet, you have to tip them like five dollars. But I mean, the food and the amount of food you get, home country cooking, unreal. Lisa's Country Kitchen. It's really a great place. It's one of my favorites in Jeff. I figured it'd be uh, Perezo. You don't like no. Perezo that much? It's Mexico, bro. <laughs> it's question number two. Uh, Tristan's hung up. We'll see how this plays out. But uh, how to know where to fish? Uh, that depends on the conditions. You know, today bright bluebird day uh tough conditions you know for fishing uh we're actually out here you know it's it's about five o'clock and so it should get better as the sun starts to go down we're in the summertime so these all the fish here on the lake have spawned the water temperature is i don't have it turned on but it's about 80 so, yeah. degrees um so those fish have spawned out they're out deeper uh 20 to 22 foot is where we've been catching fish um on a cloudy day you know you want, the fish won't need to be as tight to the cover so they'll roam more and chase bait fish more um, and you can catch them shallow a little bit better, but when it's sunny like this, you know, you really need to fish cover. We're fishing brush piles here. Um, so you just kind of have to let, you know, you have to let uh, nature and let the atmospheric conditions, you have to let it decide for you where you're going to fish, and you can't go in there with a plan. Question number three, do I have to try out to be on the team? Uh, you know, currently we, we haven't had anybody try out. What we try to do is we try to look at previous tournament experience. You know, we have high schoolers on trails like the Bass Pro Shops High School Trail, you know, which is a great trail for high schoolers in the region anyways. We try to look at those results and you know we try to actively recruit strong high school anglers. Now if you weren't part of a high school team or you're transferring from another college, um, ways that we look for um, success and value for our program is you know we look at social media, your presence on social media, uh, how often you post pictures with fish, how often you know you interact with your followers related to fishing because that's what our sponsors look at. Our sponsors want to be uh, they want to be shown off, they want to get that value for the money they put into us. And so we like to see that out of our high schoolers and incoming anglers as well. Alright, <laughs> question number four. Um, how much do you guys snuggle on cold mornings? Um, <laughs> more than we'd like to admit, you know, the subconscious human mind, the subconscious human mind is a tough, is a tough thing. We was, uh, we was in, at Pickwick Lake in Alabama and I had a calf cramp and I wake up and you know my arm was around Tristan and I rip it off of him screaming and he wakes up and he's freaking out and he said I did it all night. I don't remember, he probably made that up, he was probably dreaming but um, you know it, when you share a bed, try to save money, it happens more than you'd like to admit. Um, Gunnersville, we was at Gunnersville and it was about 27 degrees at night, we were staying in the tent. The tent where I also got Lyme disease because Tristan didn't want to help pay for a hotel. But, uh, so I'd always recommend getting a hotel, but... 20 degrees and got Lyme disease. <laughs> but anyways, uh, it was pretty cold, you know, I think we were both inside of our sleeping bags and we were pretty much had our sleeping bags on top of each other. So, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. I mean, what can I say? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I, you all the time saying I'm cuddling. It can't be that bad though, can it? Man, I woke up at Pickwick and you had one leg thrown across me, an arm around mine. I swear to God, you were trying to kiss me. Trying to kiss you. I, I don't know what you've done. I tried to push you out of bed. Is that why I started cramping? <laughs> I probably kicked you. Dude, I couldn't cuddle with somebody as ugly as you are. <laughs> Come on now. I don't know, your your mom probably didn't even hold you and use a baby, did she? Don't okay, that's too far. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Are you taking shots of family? I'm sorry, now? man. Don't talk about family. I mean, don't talk you wanna talk about family? <laughs> I've done every single one so far for two episodes straight. Like, I know you don't do much around here, and you just ride around, you're just here for the ride, you know, freeloader kind of deal, but can you answer, Can you please just answer one question so I can catch a fish? All right, just for you, buddy. All right, you take just care of that. I won't catch one. Probably answer it wrong, but. It says, uh, how do I get my business logo on your jersey? Well, it's really simple. All you gotta do is donate some, uh, you know, a little moolah. <laughs> you gotta give us some moolah, baby. One way to say it. Uh, you can also, you know, give us a little bit of discounts on some of your products. If you're like a bait company, if you're 
selling rods, grills, stuff like that. But the majority of the people is want to donate some money and get you to uh, shout them out a little bit. And like I said, since you know, since you got it wrong, you can go to cn.edu slash fish and there's a link to donate, so you can check it out there too. You can get the next one. Try to get okay, it, right. it said logo. Okay. They don't give you there's logos. There's an inquiry they form too. You fill out a form and ask about your stuff. Money if you'd ever been on the website and helped with Todd developing it, maybe you would know some of this. Or you can just call me, 423-523-4357. He'll just put it in his pocket. He has a boat for a reason. You're, in a, you're an accountant, dude. That's like the number one embezzling position in the world. What, you're saying moolah? No, you're just going to embezzle people's money, though. <laughs> That's a good cast right there, wasn't it? Not really.